Welcome back to Full Court Friday. Time for my top three, the three things, teams, players that caught my eye tonight. I'm going with Connor Heaton, number three. He goes for 38. Odds on favorite to win it all in 1A is Central A&M. That is a fun team to watch. Urbana, number two, as they sweep Centennial this season, both winning at their place and tonight in Champaign. And BHRA takes down Oakwood after three straight county titles for the Comets. BHRA champions tonight. We've been chatting live on the WCIA3 Facebook page. Thanks so much for everybody tuning in there. It's been a fun conversation all night. And some love for BHRA on there as well. St. Joseph Ogden won at Olympia uh, tonight, I believe it was. There's uh, Emily Meidel. She had a big game, former athlete of the week. 71-53, uh, Unity there falls at Mattoon. Sad news to report tonight as former Illinois basketball player Robert Archibald has died. U of I Sports Information Director Kent Brown confirmed his passing, but no other details available right now. Archibald played at Illinois from 1998 to 2002, winning back-to-back -back Big Ten titles. The 6'11 forward was drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies in the second round, went on to play for four different teams in the NBA. The Scotland native suited up in the 2012 Olympics as well. Robert Archibald was just 39 years old. The Illini are in Michigan tonight ahead of tomorrow morning's game against the Wolverines who have won 14 out of the last 16 in this matchup. WCI3's Marley Weirdo reports from Ann Arbor where the team says it's not letting up despite that first place. The Illini are back on top, tied for number one in the Big Ten. And if they want to keep their parking spot there, they'll need to beat the Michigan Wolverines here in Ann Arbor. But a road win against Michigan hasn't happened since 2010. They've only won twice at the Chrysler Center, dating back to 2005. But the history of this series isn't shaking them this season, especially for the Illini, who now have the longest active streak in the conference, winning five games in a row. We always want to be the best at everything we do, so being the best in the Big Ten is definitely one of those goals that we try to accomplish. We're still hunting, we're, we're trying to get to the top, there's always more to be done. Uh, what we experienced last year, I felt like that helped us a lot to uh, figure out the ways to win on the road and just have that experience, and now we're coming up on top on a couple of possessions, so that's definitely an experience thing. The Illini are now looking for their sixth straight win on Saturday, but they'll have to do it without Alan Griffin. Following his ejection against Purdue for stepping on his opponent's chest, the sophomore guard has been suspended for two games by the Big Ten. Brad Underwood was disappointed with the timing of this situation since the league announced it just two days before the game. Griffin has also played a pivotal role in the Illini and I turn around this season. I don't agree with 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 the with the timing of it. We'll move forward and, and we have a you always have setbacks during a year and, and, and a little adversity. It's kind of next man up mentality and, and uh, we played without him in the Purdue game and, and we'll have to do that in, in, in the next couple. The Illini beat Michigan earlier this season in Champaign. They're now looking for their fourth straight road win, something no team in the Big Ten has been able to do yet. Reporting in Ann Arbor for your Illini Nation, Marley Weirda, WCIA 3 Sports. Marley, thanks. Illinois baseball gets its season into full swing today with the first official practice. The Illini coming off a 36-21 and season and their first trip to the NCAA tournament in four years. But losing four straight to end the year last year leaves the team hungry coming into 2020 placing seven draft picks, including key guys like Michael Massey, Ben Troike, and Andy Fisher are going to be key for the Illini to contend once again this season. We were far too talented to lose the way we did, uh, going out to and out in the Big Ten tournament and the same in the regional. Um, we, we underperformed, and I think everybody on that team would tell you the same. Not the way you want to end the season, something that we need to do a better job of, and so you know, it just drives you that much more to, to figure out a way to, to help us get to that position where we're playing at a higher level. Illinois opens the regular season three weeks from today. And with baseball almost back, bring some warm thoughts that summer and spring are not that far away. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for Illinois and Michigan.